what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy terabyte reacts here in the house man we are back with another episode of sons of anarchy i am not trying to binge through this show um i'm gonna be honest i'm really not trying to binge through this final season um i might i might not you know what i'm saying um i'm just enjoying it for what it is um but i do need to finish it by august <laughs> i do need to finish it by august so i might drop some double episodes in the upcoming days so look out for that but today we're only doing one episode i mean after this is only going to be nine episodes left um in the series and then i will do a series review and talk about everything so without no further ado we're just going to jump in if you want to know my thoughts on the last episode go watch the review of the last episode because i know a lot of you guys don't watch my reviews okay um but in any case um i know it's just a few of us that are still watching my reactions um are still watching with me and enjoying it um so yeah man great stuff so far that's going on in in season seven i'm loving it so far but as i said man i have my predictions um and i just i i feel like the overall winner winner in quote of this show is going to be Gemma and and the reason why I'm saying that is, is that she does things and then she gets protected and every time something happens where she's supposed to be punished for it is it's it, you know I think it's only one time she never she never got off the hook um, and that's when you know what I'm saying she got high and you know what happened you know what i'm saying she tried to drive the kids and that wasn't you know i ended up in an accident i think that was the one time she actually had consequences to what she did or what she has done everything else has just been one big like people trying to protect Gemma. you know what i'm saying like i don't even know why jews decided to protect Gemma from from this whole situation like he, he, i don't understand is it because roosevelt was there roosevelt being there <sighs> juice could have in in that situation from the way i'm looking at it if he had said you know what what i have to tell Jax this you know what i'm saying yeah we're gonna protect you from going to jail but we have to talk about this i have to tell the club but he chose to decide to leave because before that Jax had told him hey you betrayed me so he thought you know the club is gonna kill him blah 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 i get that but that probably would have bought his way back maybe that way Jax would have been like you know what this dude's pretty loyal he was on drugs or whatever and you know he spilled the beans he spilled the beans about some information that he shouldn't have told anyone you know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, but it is what it is. Um, let's jump into it. I don't know what's going to happen in this show, but I, I know the ending is probably going to be epic as hell. So let's see, man. We got jewelry also. <laughs> uh, Jax is in too deep, man. He's playing the game harsh, and I don't think he's going to survive it, but we'll see. Anyways, I'll see you guys for the review.
you talking to <laughs> seems like everybody feels like they need to talk to themselves in this show right now like I know <laughs> Andre the Giant, the Captain Psycho. <laughs> yeah, very. <laughs> So the calculator keeps giving her the wrong answer. <laughs> You are <laughs> Of course you do. Of course you stayed in touch. This man 
it's <laughs> everybody's looking at him like <laughs> we all should be worried he stayed in touch. They think it's him that that beat up the dude. Mm, okay. <laughs> really, Gemma? Come on, man. Damn right. He's unchained. You like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's very true. Nero speaking facts right now. I can't even disagree with him. Did he just do a quagmire reference? <laughs> That's a shoddy. Um, pull him out the way. Uh, 
The hell? Who for what? <laughs> oh, man. this point what can you do it really isn't <laughs> to be honest it really isn't worth it man you can get a converse a congregation anywhere and some of the times you know <clears throat> because i've seen situations you know where you know um when it comes on to churches and stuff like that they might have a big building and because of certain situations, you know, um, they'll fight to keep that building. And I'm like, the church is not the building, man. The church is not the building. The church is the people. You can start church somewhere else. You might not be have a, 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 a as big a building as you used to have a property. And maybe some people got to come and stand up and worship. But hey, man. <laughs> The church is the people. If they really love God, they'll show up. You know what I mean? They'll show up. So, sign the papers, let them do what they want to do.
you know what I'm saying? Some people will say go to the police, but you're just making matters worse for yourself when you do that. And So, you just see three guys on a bike, and you just decided to follow them because you're the police. <laughs> Yo. Oh, God. This is not going to go well. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think. I knew it, man. I knew that this was not going to go well, bro. I knew it wasn't going to go well. You just... You're dead. This is, oh my God, they are so, they got to clean this mess up. How are you going to explain to, how are you going to explain this now? How are you going to explain this? Why? <laughs> That's why I'm like, this is not going to go well. Like I played out the entire scenario in my head and I'm like two cops trailing. You just see um, three dudes on a bike because you know two of them you just decide to follow them like that's so stupid that is so dumb that is that is so dumb guys that is not what cops do <laughs> cops don't just follow people just because they they know i know it's a small town so everybody kind of knows each other especially if if you're known to be in like you know what I'm saying? Criminal activity. I get it. But at the same time, this it, it just it just doesn't make sense. It's like they, they set up this scene for them to get killed. Like, I knew they were going to get killed. Because ain't no way. If they get caught, it, like, if there's only two ways this is going to go. They get caught, they get killed. Or they 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 are good enough to not they they parked wide out in the open oh these other guys are not wearing cuts 
Bruh. <laughs> I can't even stop laughing at this because this this is probably the dumbest thing I've seen cops do in any show. Like this, this is just the episode of dumbness, right? We got the girl that that's you know what I'm saying, get the wrong answer on calculator, getting you know what I'm saying. This is just a dumb episode, man. Like there's people just doing dumb things and saying dumb things. It's just one of those. <laughs> This is crazy. Like, this, this, what did I say before it even happened? I was like, this is not going to go well. They didn't get to call it in. How are y'all going to clean this up? She survived. Yep. Shit. Ah. Oh. She's so vice. She's wearing her vest. Yo, it's over for the Suns. This is, this is, they win. I mean, it wasn't them, but. No. It wasn't a damn ambush. They followed them there. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> the best thing would be to tell her what happened. That's the best thing because she's on the take. So it's, it's, be truthful with her. Don't lie to her because you got to wonder if they really did that or if they spoofed it. See, this is where the, the, the trust. The hell? A grenade? That is... What's his name? That's That's what's Chinese, ain't it? Yo, that's crazy. That is nuts.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> this stuff is getting out of hand, man. Did they find something out? Who you think it is? Is it Marks? Yo. Yo. <sighs> me one second, guys. I, my mom keeps calling me. Is Gemma there? No, Gemma is not there, right? I don't want to see these two right now. This is not important. Like... We all know that they had some sort of thing going on or whatever. Like, we get it. I want to know what's going on at Diosa.
I wonder who talked though. How did they find out? It's jury. It's gotta be jury. It's jury. I bet money on it that it's jury. It's jury. It has to be. It has to be jury. It has to be jury. I can't think of anybody else. It has to be jury. It has to be jury, bro. It has to be jury. Yeah, so Sons of Anarchy, man. One of the best series that I've reacted to on the channel. No doubt about it. Um, this episode was, you know, no different. You know what I'm saying? It was no different. Um, other than the fact that there was some really dumb stuff that was said in this episode. And some things that happened that I would have never imagined that would have happened. So, first thing I want to get out of the way is the Chibs and Venus kiss. Like, I didn't see that coming. And also, um, I think they spoofed the scene because I don't think they actually kissed. Um, from the way how I see it, maybe you guys didn't, didn't pick up on it either. Or maybe it's just me seeing things differently. I don't know. I don't know. But the way how I see it and the way how I saw it was that they spoofed the scene and made it seem like they actually kissed, but they didn't. It seems like they switched it out for an actual girl because there's something about the scene that just didn't seem right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just didn't seem right. So it, it was kind of weird to me that um, when I went there, uh, or when it was on the screen, like right before they actually connected lips, it seemed like somebody else switched into the scene. It just seems like it was a smaller body type and it just looked weird. If you go back and watch the scene, I, I don't know if they actually did it, but if they did, hey, props out to them, man. Great actors nonetheless. So it just seemed different to me, but when it comes on to what went down in this episode is nothing short of amazing. The last 15 minutes of the episode was just on your edge of the seat kind of entertainment and it was really good. So everybody's kind of reaping the consequences of things that are happening in the show right now. Like it, and the only person that I can think of that is really, that could have ratted them out to the, to the Chinese was definitely definitely it gotta be jury like it's the only person that i can think of and i'm pretty sure probably next episode they're going to reveal who it was that went to them because they don't have any other source of information for them to go bloodbath against the against the sons like this because it's the only person that can tell them hey these guys have been blatantly lying to you to your face okay to your face Okay, they have been blatantly lying to y'all. Like, it's the only person that could spill the beans like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I does, does August Marks know? Does he know? He doesn't know the full story. I think, because the last time they, they met up, you know what I'm saying? Jax fed him something. He didn't really tell him the whole truth. You know what I mean? Um, because he was questioning about a war, and that's why he made the, the you know, the little threat to um to Jax. So when it comes on to what was taking place and what happened here, it was just kind of weird to me. You know what I'm saying? It was just kind of weird to me how they found out or why they how they found out. And as I said, only person that I can think of is Jury. So the situation with Juice, as I you know, as I was saying, I think Gemma is probably trying is probably going to try to take out juice because he's a liability either either way he's a liability because he could spill the beans against her with Jax before he dies before they kill him or he can or he, if if the police catches him he's gonna he, you know what i'm saying he could end up spilling the beans again i mean he was about to rat everybody out before remember this you know what i'm saying we can talk about pressure all we want in you know in earlier seasons with juice but juice has always been kind of a liability you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong it puts a lot of stress on him and you could see it through his actions it puts a lot of stress on him that's why he ended up taking drugs that's why you know what i'm saying 
he just has this death wish and all this other stuff and in my in my my series review once i get to that at the end of this season i'm gonna be talking about juice because juice has one of the most interesting character development throughout the entire series and i'm gonna talk about him um it's not my favorite character by any means but he has one of the best character development in the show regardless of what you may think of him you know um he goes through so many different things and as i talked about during the episode this is what it looks like when life catches up with you when you're doing a bunch of things um you know what i'm saying and it's like there's no consequences to it and then all of it just comes rushing in at once all you know the, the consequences of the things that you've been doing if you want to call it karma if you will just comes crashing down on you and you don't know what to do with yourself you, you you know what i'm saying like it's driving him nuts you know what i'm saying he's losing his mind he's talking to himself um it's just it, it's it's to the point where you know what i'm saying he, what what um hunter said this is not going to end well and that's what i've been pretty much saying this entire episode is like this is not going to end well the two cops getting killed um i think jack should have been truthful about it with the cop with them and let him know hey we went to go talk to some other white dudes and you know what i'm saying there was no drugs present or anything like that we were just talking cops showed up they just decided to go off on the cops but he can't sell out the area nation like that and i get it but he you know what i'm saying like he could send them in their direction and let him know hey this can't come back to the club this can't come back to the club i tell you who's responsible for killing the cops but this can't come back to the to the club you know what i'm saying we were there they decided to go off on the cops because they followed us there and just was hanging out and i don't know why these dudes just pop off their Aryan nation you know what i'm saying i don't know why they decided to kill the cops they thought they were being watched like they didn't see nothing no drugs were out or nothing they just decided to pop off on the cops i'm like dude you the minute if you saw the cops why are you bussing why are you busting immediately? No drugs are out. No money is being exchanged yet. Like the meeting literally just started. Use your brain, man. If you saw the cops, it'd be like, hello, can I help y'all? You know what I'm saying? Y'all are, you know what I'm saying? Like, can I help y'all? Like, even if you see guns out, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, even, what are you going to do? Arrest them? Like you show up to a place following the, that's why I said it was a dumb idea for them it was so dumb what they did by going there alone and also just following these two guys or the, the, the you know, Jacks and them. Cause they, I think it was Jacks, it was Jacks, Chibs, and I think, I don't remember. I, I don't remember who else went there with them, but it, it you know what I mean? Like it was just, it, it, it's to the point where everything that happened in that scene just didn't have to happen and as i said the minute i saw them following decided to follow them i was like this is not going to end well it's a very dumb decision to to do that you don't know where these criminals are going you don't know where they're going you get what i'm saying even if they're known criminals you don't know where they're going why are you following them you don't know where they're going they could be going to you know what i mean and then then the thing about it they're not even trying to be discreet they pull up they literally pull up right where they were you know what i'm saying you really think these guys are not gonna have lookouts like use your head man um one of them survived so that's good i guess but <sighs> this is there's gonna be hell to pay and everything is going to start unraveling now. And I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, guys, this is all I have to say. This season is great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. No, it's not a lot of us. No, it's not a lot of y'all. But it's all good. It's all good. We're going to get to the end. Because, um, you know, I'm not going to quit mid, mid stride. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a quitter like that. And as I told you guys, I'm not doing this for views. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Sometimes I would love to i would love to check my my youtube stats and see more views on my channel but 
I've just accepted the fact that I'm just not going to get there. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've just accepted the fact that the algorithm doesn't love me. You know, people try to give me advice and be like, hey, man, this is what hurts your channel. Nobody knows for real what's really hurting my channel. I don't know. YouTube doesn't know. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Like, you know, people can tell you that it might have been this or it might have been that. But at the end of the day, we really don't know what really affects my channel or why my 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 videos don't get popped off. See, people just starting to watch Sons of Anarchy and they get more views than me. And that's not to say that they have more subscribers than me. So it is what it is. You know, I've just accepted the fact that I'm going to truck on. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Don't forget to leave the <laughs> Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I am boring or something. I <laughs> I don't know. I laugh at this situation because what else can I do? I can't fix it. <laughs> Later guys.